Yes, you know who it is, famo. Jano. Listen, does this Usyk guy want some smoke with Tony Bell, you? Does he want it? Does he want it? Does he want it? Come to the UK, fam. It's a good test for you. Let's get it on. We want to see it. It's a good fight for Tony Bell, you as well. And if you do good, you look well. If you can get past Tony Bell, you then you know you're looking on towards Anthony Joshua looking on towards Tyson Fury Dylan White you're looking on towards all them fights but can you get past Tony Bellew a lot of people say oh you're the pound for pound king you're this you're that you haven't impressed me yet you haven't beat nobody I re respect yet now Tony Bellew is somebody I respect and I'll give you my main reason why I respect Tony Bellew. The main reason I respect Tony Bellew is because every single time I've picked him to lose, he's won. Every single time. Every single time I've picked him to win, he's won. Every single time. He's never let me down. So... That's why I, I will I, I told myself uh, probably about three years ago when I think it was whose fight was it? I forgot who he fought, but I told myself after that fight I will never ever pick against Tony Bellew again. And I never did. And I was absolutely shitting my pants in the David Hay Tony. You don't understand how much of a David Hay fan I was. But just the principle, I said to myself, I'll never pick against Tony Bellew. And I never did. And just like if he fights you sick, you watch. I'll be the only guy out here picking Tony Bellew to win. 100%. No less. Kingdom of Boxing, man, I'm the best. What's the record out here, fam? What's people's records out here? On this channel, I think I'm 2-0. and On my other channel, I'm 10-1. and You get me? What are these people's records out here, fam? These people aren't showing me nothing. These people make prediction videos, make themselves look silly, then delete the videos. I think I don't know. I've been looking for them, you know. I've been looking for your videos, fam. What happened? Where they gone, fam? <laughs> well, never mind, man. You man of light work. I, I, I can catch you. I can catch you. Trust me. And you know who I'm talking to as well. You little waste, man. Kingdom of Boxing. You know I drop big flows. So I'm back in Tony Bellew in this. It's a good fight for Usyk. If it gets past him, I think the fight should be a heavyweight. So if it gets past him, he can move on to the Dylan White, Parker, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. But like I'm saying, man, I don't. I, I haven't seen him beat anybody yet. Until I see him beat somebody I respect. I can't make him pound for pound and all this and that like everybody is saying. That's too much. Too much. I think he's also had like 12, 13 fights. Yes, he's not lost yet. But like I said, he's not fought anybody I respect. Come to the UK, fight Tony Bellew. You get your ass spanked in my opinion. You got no power. Usyk's got no power. Why is everybody bragging about this guy? The guy's got no power. Tap, 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 tap. What is that? Tony Bailey walked through that, hit him with that, that left hook. Hit him with the right hand, left hook. As, as, put him to sleep, man. Fuck all the long thing. What is he, Ukrainian, yeah? I don't think there's any Ukrainian that's ever beat a British fighter. Look what happened to the last one, I said to Tassi Fury schooled him. The anti Joshua knocked him out. Come on now. And then Josh Taylor just walked through that over a Ukrainian. Shit. Can't tell us, man. Nothing, man. UK got boxing on smash. End of the day. All this hype, all this gas. It's, that's all it is. Gas. You might not pull a piss and win. UK got boxing on smash 100%. Yes. Like I said before, no less. Listen, I'm ranting on man, talking shit. 
I don't give a fuck, I'm high. I don't give a shit because you know I'm a Tony Bellew fan. If you didn't know, I'm back to you. Knock him out with a left hook. This guy's got no power. Only people that are beating Tony Bellew is people who have got power. And even then, that was that light heavyweight, cruiserweight, where he was not comfortable. I'm sure everybody's realised by now, Tony Bellew is a lot more comfortable at heavyweight. He takes a shot a lot more better and also, he's improving. If you've not noticed these things, then you've not been following Tony Bellew like I have. Dave Corwell, a very good trainer as well. 